Okay, so this is my Boston and Butt tutorial that I'm gonna do. This is my own little recipe here of how I smoke the uh, Boston Butt. Uh, bought me a, uh, a nine, almost 10 pound Boston Butt. And uh, I've got some, uh, some ground, stone ground mustard here that I'm gonna use. And I have my own uh, rub that I made up that I'm going to use. And then I'm going to, um, I'm not going to inject it with anything. I'm just going to use the rub and the mustard on the outside. And I will spray it with some red wine vinegar later on. Uh, other than that, it's just putting it on the grill and cooking it on indirect heat. And um, wrapping it up in foil and uh, get into the right temperature. Okay, my uh, initial smoking temperature is gonna be at about 250, 275. That's why I plan to cook it on. And uh, I'm gonna do that for at least two to three hours. And then uh, take it off, wrap it up with foil, put it back on for a couple more hours until I get the right internal temperature. Uh, take it off unwrap it and uh, just let it crisp up some on on direct heat uh, total time should be about five to six hours we'll see how that goes but uh, I'm gonna pause it here and I'll get back to you a little bit later okay so uh, I put my mustard on I put the uh, the rub on and I'm just gonna cover it up and let it sit for a little while uh, while I get the fire going on the grill. Now something uh, that you need to do also is once you take the meat out of the package, get a paper towel and pat it down and get it dry before you put the rub and the mustard on there. Okay. Um, okay, we're gonna wrap this up and we're gonna get the smoke, uh, the grill going. Okay, so I've got my grill set up to light up on both sides and I've left the, the middle open. Now normally when I'm smoking, I will put a pan of water in here, but I'm not gonna do it this time. Uh, I'm just gonna let the meat sit on the rack uh, and just smoke it. Uh, I'm using pecan wood uh, for my smoke. I normally have hickory and a little bit of apple in the, in the, in the shed, but uh, for some reason I've got a lot of pecan wood here, so it must be pretty good. So I'm gonna use that today, okay? So I'm just gonna light up one side right now. Okay, we'll get those coals going. So once I get those coals going, um, I'm gonna bring out the meat, put it on, and throw a few chunks of uh, that pecan wood on here. Okay, so the coals are going now, and um, I went ahead and put my my butt on the grill. And if you notice, I have the fat side up. I like to have it that way because I want the fat to drip down into the meat. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a few more a few chunks of wood on here, and uh, we're gonna get this going. That's it. All right, we're gonna close the lid and let it do its thing. Open this up just a smidgen. We'll uh, let that temperature get up to where it needs to be. And we'll come back to this a little bit later. All right. Okay, so it's been going for a little bit now. The uh, temperature is about 225, and that that's acceptable. I wanted it to be at least 250, but uh, 225 is, is going to be good good enough for me. 
All right, we'll just let that go slow, and um, and uh, we'll come back to it later. See how it looks. Okay, so the temperature did get up to 250, and it's been smoking ever since. It's been about three hours now. I'm about to take it off and put it into the uh, foil and let it cook in the foil for a couple hours. Um, and then uh, let's take a look now and see what it looks like after three hours of smoking. Okay, nice color to it. I think that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it in the foil that you see here. I'm gonna put you on pause. Okay, so I've got the butt wrapped up and um, back on the grill. We'll go ahead and get that temperature back up the way it should be. And uh, let's stay on here for about another two, maybe three hours. Okay, so I'm about to pull the Boston butt off. The internal temperature is about 200 degrees. Uh, maybe a little bit more but anyway it's ready to come off and uh, if everything works out right it should pull the bone should pull straight out of the meat okay so I'm taking the, the butt out of the foil and I'm gonna put it into this pan that it's under right now and I'm gonna put it in the oven for about another 15-20 minutes Okay, I've got the oven set for 350. I just want to put it in there for a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more uh, rub on it, shake a little bit on there, and then put it in the oven. Let it sit for a while. Take it out of the oven, let it rest for about 20 minutes, and then start pulling it apart. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to skip putting more rub on it right now. I'll put it on later. Okay, so okay, I took the Boston butt out of the oven and I pulled it apart and this is what it came out to be. And like I said, the bone, see how dry that is? It pulled right out. And uh, that's it. That's pulled pork. Not chopped pork, pulled pork.